Well, Syracuse University's spring break starts this weekend, and students will be traveling all across the country to different destinations. Tonight, Citrus TV's Ronnie Perillo joins us live at the Syracuse airport. Ronnie? John, thank you so much. Yeah, I'm here at the airport in North Syracuse now. Over the next few days, college students from SU, as well as families from all over central New York, will come here to hit the skies for their spring break destinations. Now, this is the first normal spring break since 2019. On March 12, 2020, Syracuse University suspended all on-campus operations and sent students home due to the coronavirus. This year, however, things are moving in the right direction. According to the Washington Post, the most popular spring break destination, Orlando, Florida. That's followed by other destinations in the Sunshine State, including Miami and Fort Lauderdale. Now, many flights departing from here in Syracuse will be heading to those southern places. And while many students and families might be ready for higher temperatures, they also need to be ready for higher prices. Airline travel has been one of those areas where costs have significantly increased. Round trip ticket prices have jumped over 20% since last year. The flight booking app Hopper estimates that a round trip domestic ticket is now $292. Consumers have not seen prices this high for domestic flights since before the pandemic began. So this year you're going to want to prepare for that and also prepare for airports like Syracuse to be busier than normal. This airport here recommends that you reserve a parking space online as they will fill up quickly. This happened here just a few weeks ago. They also recommend arriving early for your flight and to go through TSA. Now tonight, it's Monday night, the airport is rather clear. There's not too much going on. Yep. Rainy and windy out here in Syracuse. Those flights are going to be heading to those warmer destinations. And the wind really is picking up. I had to put some extra hair product in today. But we're going to send it to Peyton Spellacy, who has your weather forecast. Hopefully, uh, things are going to be warming up a little bit quicker. Guys, back over to you.